Problem number eight, it says, which is the converse of the following statement? Converse like shoes, we're just simply going to flip them. You put them, your shoes on the wrong feet. So we think of converse tennis shoes. It says if AB divided by A divided by B is equal to C, then that. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this statement, put it over here, take this statement, put it over here. So we're looking for if the A equals BC, then A divided by B is equal to C. That's what we're looking for. I like when I'm doing the SOL testing to write things out because once I start looking at this, they all look the same to me. So it's easy to get messed up. So we're looking for if A equals BC. Let's find that one. Up oh, right here. If A equals BC, then A divided by B equals C. That's what we have. It's choice B right here. These, notice, A and C, they have not equal. Those would be where you're maybe doing an inverse or a converse. They got a negation in there. And finally, this guy just doesn't change anything. He just leaves this and then negates that piece. So the choice is obviously B. It's not as simple as a lot of converse statements we look at. But what you need to do is simply take that whole statement, whatever it says, it doesn't make any difference what it is. You take it, that piece is going here, and whatever's here goes there, which is what you and I did. We didn't get ourselves confused on problem number eight. The answer, B.